Welcome everybody, NFT Parent here, back for another video. It's great to be back. It's nice to be looking through all the different stuff that's been popping up about NFTs. I know people say they're dead. They are not dead. They may change some forms. They may not all be pictures and PFPs, but NFTs are not dead, and it is definitely part of the future, I believe, in my opinion. Of course, this is not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. You believe, do your own research, but I believe NFTs are here to stay. And when I get asked all the time about, you know, what do you look for? I've said it a million times. I'm going to say it again. People that continue to work, even when there's times like this where it's slow and maybe many aren't excited. And one I've talked about a lot before, but I'm going to continue to talk about because something new and very exciting is going on. Nyla Hayes, the 15-year-old artist of Long Neck Ladies, has now created Long Neck, Long Necky World. So, it is uh she's has announced a while ago an innovative community owned storytelling experience on administrative so it's a uh, nyla's long Nicky world our mission is to create an immersive preschool tv series that the entire family will love much like bluey so she has uh long neck lady holders and top com uh, contributors at, at adminiverse you can see here you can follow them at, at adminiverse on x they are earning uh ownership tokens for past present and future engagement you can see right there i've got a little bit i'm happy to be part of this in the future um they want people to get involved but, but please follow this i'm going to have a lot of this on there i mean we're talking about this started out as nft so realize young artist fantastic person starts out nfts now is moving on to tv series already has series that she does online of the uh, of the long necky ladies long necky world but now we're talking she wants to be the next bluey and if anybody can do it nyla can do it so this is very exciting this is just another way starts out of nfts and moves on from there web three you know it's i mean this is awesome and i can't wait to see where this goes and where this tv series ends up i'm very excited about it and i will keep you up to date i just wanted to let people know if you're looking at what projects to get into i mean talk about putting more life into long neck ladies that or she made nfts of i mean now we're talking about them being on tv as a preschool series so continue to follow her i'm sure she's going to continue to make more nfts she's a great person and i am going to continue to follow her and can't and, and i'm very excited to be part of this and please look into if that might be an nft that you're interested in in the future i definitely would check it out so coinbase stands with crypto creates nft legal defense fund so where this all stems from is the sec issued OpenSea a wells notice as well as as well as other attacks on artists and creators. And it has become clear that those looking to build on blockchain technology will continue to face significant legal threats. So Coinbase has emerged as a vocal advocate for the crypto industry and the ongoing regulatory crackdowns in the United States. Stand with Crypto is led by Coinbase and has launched a legal defense fund uh, as of September 13th post on X. Dubbed the Creator Legal Defense Fund, a $6 million fund is backed by venture capitalists and NFT marketplace OpenSea. According to Stand with Crypto's website, also backed by different law firms that are listed here. Today, we raise our shield to protect the foundation part of the crypto community. Creatives now can stand up misguided actions from the SEC. So this is very exciting to see that, you know, you got OpenSea fighting for the artists and now you have Coinbase backing up also. So, you know, and if it says cryptocurrency has been the target of numerous enforcement actions by United States regulars, regulators. Uh, NFTs are tokenized proof of ownership of a specific item. Uh, they had also brought actions against cryptocurrency exchange, Coinbase, Binance. So they know, you know what it takes to get through all this. So to have Coinbase come in and help back up OpenSea and Artist, I'm very excited that they did that. I think it's great. And there are many fights to fight in the crypto space, NFT space to, you know, get this all figured out so we can all follow regulations, but they not be too strict and very unfair. So let's make it fair for everyone. Okay. For the day, mentioned these before a lot. Also people saying, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Again, not financial advice. Don't buy anything. Cause I said, I have not bought this again yet. I used to own these a while ago. I used to own one of these worlds a while ago and I did sell it a long time ago, but I've always been interested in them. They're doing a lot of work in the background and now they're under $900 us for one of these Hytopia worlds that they are going to be building games and stuff on. So 
When somebody says, what are you looking for under $1,000 that you're excited about? This is it right here. Modern game platform that powers voxel-based creator experiences. It's free to play, rich in creator tools, and brings people together through social gaming. So it's all about gaming. Ethereum blockchain, like I said, under point, well under a half ETH. If you're interested in the future of gaming with NFTs, definitely check this out because this is something that you definitely want to look into if, this is, if you're into NFTs and gaming. I found this article interesting also for our last article of the video here. And if using NFTs to stop the spread of deep fakes, deep fakes is a very problem, various there's various problems with them using deep fakes. They create a wide range of issues that span personal, political, and socialite levels. These problems highlight the need for stronger measures to address the following changes. It says, as this threat grows, NFTs along with blockchain technology could become instrumental in the safeguarding digital media from deep fake menace. What are deep fakes threatened? NFTs can offer verifiable, they can verify ownership and authenticity. And while deep fakes impersonate humans, NFT fingerprint real digital content making the kind of content that deep fakes go after. So NFTs have a lot of different uses. This is one I think is great because they have certificates of authenticities that NFTs attach themselves to. So you can prove, this is a way to prove using blockchain technology if the picture or you know whatever you're looking at is real or not. So I think that's very good. Just another thing NFTs are going for. I want to keep exposing you to things other than just PFPs, other than just pictures. So we've got Nilo going TV, you know, preschool TV series. We've got Stand with Crypto backing up artists. We got Hytopia Worlds doing, you know, by the NFT world, but it also is connected with gaming, Ethereum platform, and then now it's help spreading deep fakes. And then in the background, you also have, I'm wearing one of my shirts from uh, the Bored Apes here. You have uh, Bored Apes and Bapes, again, combining for kind of a season two of clothing coming out. So I'm very excited about that. So you might think it's dead. It's not dead. It's still going in the background. And I am very excited for the future. And I can't wait to have my next video to tell you more. I appreciate you watching. NFT Parent on all social media. NFTParent.io is my website. But on X slash Twitter is the best place to kind of get me. And I check that the most often. So please reach out to me. Let me know what you're watching, what you want to see, and what you love about this space. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.